Spring one. Okay. Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, I know. I don't know about you, but is your tummy full? I mean, oh yeah. Because what did you do for Christmas? For most people that we've heard about, they did absolutely nothing but ate. Oh, and I guess maybe they did visit with the family too. Hmm. Meanwhile, I guess news still continues, and we'll be talking about that. Old Cam with comments on the headlines of today. You know, if it's a Rex day anyway, then. Oh, is it a Rex day? Well, look what it opens up with. Oh, well, Democrats get a victory in the payroll tax cut fight. Oh, yeah. The Republicans had won the day, and then for mm -hmm. some guy, they, they were blaming it on the Tea Party. No, it wasn't the Tea Party, folks. It was the mainstream Republicans who thought that we can get a better deal. Uh, what they ended up with was they didn't get any money cut. They raised taxes to pay for the thing, and basically, you think the Tea Party's going to agree to anything that causes a rate, a, a tax rate increase? Mm. And Chinese hacking to the U.S. Chamber of Commerce authorities say. Oh, they even did worse than that. They hacked into um, they, they hacked into some businesses this morning, and then uh, let. Oh, the did they really? They let all the information out to people this morning, so they basically destroyed the business <laughs> by doing it. And reporters follow Obama to Best Buy for Christmas shopping. Yeah, can we say that Best Buy is in big trouble and Best Buy has been one of his big supporters, so now he's trying to make it look like he's supporting Best Buy. Mm. And Moody's cuts Belgium ratings by two notches. And don't worry, the markets went, the markets, the futures have went up in the United States on, the, on that news and the news that China is collapsing financially. Oh, really? Well, it's reason to be happy because they own all our debt on a 30-day notice to call in. And suspected WikiLeaks source appears in court. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, he, because, he's, he did that because Republicans hate gay people. He serious? said George Bush and the Republicans were responsible with their archaic ideas towards the gay people. Well, I grew up in the entertainment industry, folks. I grew up around a lot of people that were gay. Nobody cared whether they were gay or not. No one cared. You know, when they started caring is when people started demanding that they have special rights. That's when they care. That's when they care. When you demand that they have special rights, they began to take rights away from people. And reporters follow Obama to Best Buy for Christmas shopping. I know, she likes that one. I know, I do. Well, okay. How about suspected WikiLeaks source appears in court? I know, the same one again. Oh, yeah, and Gingrich fades in Iowa? Uh, oh, Gingrich is dead now. And he, nationally. He uh, basically, okay, here's the trick is, the pundits have said you must have at least hundreds of millions of dollars to be able to compete. No, you don't. You just have to go out there and do it. You know, the, the, and I, I, I put it this way, Monty could win the presidential election in the United States and she has no money. <laughs> because it does, you don't need money to run for the presidency. All you have to do is to have somebody willing to, to uh, listen to what you have to say. Gerrish is the wrong person because Gerrish, I told people, you're not going to elect somebody old enough to be Obama's father. You're not going to elect Mitt Romney because what is Mitt Romney? He's old enough to be Obama's father. Oh, are you serious? They're not going to put an old person in anymore. The country is no longer ran by people mm. my age. It's ran by people that are in their 30s and 40s now. Spill reported at Shelf, Shell Gulf of Mexico drill site. Yeah, somebody basically spilled oil. I mean, that, okay, what happens is when you pull pipe, you, when you change the, the pipes and stuff, oil comes out, but that's not a spill. That's called normal procedure, and it just, it has to go somewhere, so it goes out into the water. And why did police fire tear gas to disperse protesters in China? Because the Chinese country is starting to collapse financially. Oh, really? All those people that were getting that buck an hour are now going to find out they're <clears throat> going to go back to their 10 cents a day routine very shortly. Uh-oh. And seven states would share a $200 million federal education competition. I, I know. Basically, that thing to the top which basically gives you money to pay teachers to do absolutely nothing if you happen to have a better idea how to get the teacher to do nothing. Hawaii lost its grant because they couldn't think of anything for their teachers to do. Are you serious? That's what it works. You have to pay teachers to teach people things that are totally unnecessary. Hmm. A new space station crew set for holiday arrival. 
Yeah, Obama's paying, I think, what is it, $60 million a person to send the people there. Instead of using our perfectly capable shuttles, because I you know they put over Rex, Rex worships the ground Obama works on, Muslims don't believe in space travel. Oh. And Pakistani Army rejects a U.S. report on deadly airstrikes. Uh, well, because it was done, okay, the, uh, they, the, the strikes were called in by Pakistanis. So there, I think it was the Pakistani intelligence officer trying to get rid of people that weren't on their side, so they had the United States do it for them. And Casey Anthony sued by the man who found her child's remains? Okay, what, what first, is this? okay first of all, he couldn't have found the remains because he found the remains after they searched the area. A guy finds the remains. And then what's he suing her for? Uh, uh, because he, he, he feels that he was maligned. Well, no, okay. Do you think the jury would have found her innocent if anybody would have believed any of the things that any of the people were saying? They found her guilty of being stupid. There's nothing guilty about, nothing, uh, uh, you, you can't cry a person for murder that thinks her kid's being watched. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's not, you know, uh, if she hires a babysitter or has her parents do it and they don't do it and, or they leave the kid alone, it's the people that left the kid that should be tried, not the parents. So they couldn't they couldn't put her anywhere near the body. They couldn't put her here. They couldn't put her there. So therefore, and then they basically were railroading her into jail time. Yeah, they were. So I mean, they basically violated every right under the. Okay, it's the jury knew that she had been maligned, mistreated and everything that you could think of, so they just released her because of it. And John Edwards asked to delay criminal trial, citing illness. Well, yeah, you know, it doesn't make any difference. They can't find him guilty of anything because the money, uh, the money, when you give the money to the candidate, the candidate can do as the candidate chooses to do with the money. Wait a minute, they were trying to try him for... They're trying, they're trying him over giving the woman money. Well, uh, she I was didn't. doing work for him, and but she was working for him. She was shooting the campaign. <laughs> yeah, she was a camera person. So he's going to say, uh, "Well, I gave her a million and a half dollars to shoot my campaign, and the baby was just an extra added benefit." Mm -hmm. So, an appeals court tosses out Obama birthplace challenge. Can't do that, folks. Because first of all, they already know that Obama could never have been president of the United States because he wasn't legally on a lot of ballots. So therefore, uh. since he, you already know that he didn't qualify to be on ballots that helped him win this country. He could not have won a Democratic nomination because he wasn't legal. So you figure, figure it this way, well if they broke the law once, and people know God awful, he wasn't born in the United States, he was born in Kenya. But because, here's the, here's the problem, John McCain was not born in the United States either. See, they should have kicked both of them both out. Both of them should have been kicked out. Okay, Mitt Romney's father quit his run for the President of the United States because he was born in an embassy in Mexico City. There's a guy that was born in American <coughs> territory as far as the rule is concerned. John McCain was born in a hospital in Panama. He was not on an American military base. He was not in an embassy. He was in a hospital in Panama, which meant he had no qualifications to be president. <coughs> and and school, I know, school accused of putting autistic student into duffel bag. Well, I, um, I, can, I can tell you when I went to school, they used to do a lot worse than that to people that weren't on the football teams. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, they would stick them in duffel bags. They would toss them in the back of you know buses and stuff. And oh, really? You'd, you'd have people. You'd have the. Uh, here's here's the problem was I was on the athletic team, but I was also on the debating team, and I was also on the speech team, and I was also on the chess team and the science class. So I, I'm fitting on the side of the people that they love to abuse at these high schools. <laughs> yeah. And Warren issued for popular sports agent. Oh, that's the guy that, uh, you know, Jerry Maguire, you know, the Tom Cruise, you know, the guy who bring me the money thing was based upon. You see, he's sort of been fudging the books a bit. They brought him too much money? Yeah, <laughs> they, they, he, they, he, they overpaid him a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, and? And, uh, of course, they overpaid him for services he never did, so. Oh. Yeah. Um, tensions rise as Iraq seeks a Sunni VP arrest. 
Oh, yeah, the country is falling apart, and they say, well, if the United States will say, unfortunately, there's nothing that we can do now because we're left the country and we're not going back in. Well, I really hate to tell those people that are saying we aren't going to go back in. We're sitting in Kuwait. We know what happens if Iraq starts to fall and it has a problem with the other countries in the area. Guess yeah. who's got to go back in? That mm -hmm. army that's sitting in Kuwait is going to go back into Iraq. There's a whole army sitting in our, in Kuwait, folks. And missing Arizona girl believes killed and dumped in trash. Uh, anyway, okay, first of all, if I was going to kill somebody, I wouldn't dump somebody where they could find them. You'd never Doesn't find them. Isn't that so kind of stupid? I know. I mean, you know, it, it, it's always dumb. Well, they figure you're going to dump the body within a few miles of your home. Well, if you go dump it a few, you go dump it ten miles away, you're safe. And here's here's the strange part. This is how you know it's live. Are we doing a double or a single? We're doing a single. Okay. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the hey, Animal Kingdom. I love this one. <laughs> you you never lose a game that the opposing team has already forfeited. Yeah. <laughs>